right guys, uh, from Paradise today, we're gonna be talking about Clecos. You probably heard me mention them in the past in videos. And they're just a really handy tool to have around the shop for all kinds of, really it's a multimedia thing, but sheet goods and um, temporary connections essentially. So today we're gonna have an eighth inch drill. We've got some eighth inch Clecos and uh, Cleco pliers. And then we also have some side grip or Cleco clamps that have about, I think it's three quarters of an inch range on them. These have a quarter inch grip range on them. I do believe you can get them longer. Uh, but like I said, mostly this is all for sheet good stuff. So they just are really handy for building curves uh, as you might see in some of our other videos. And, uh, airstreams and stuff. Uh, and I'll just show you real quick. They do actually uh, work well in solid products as well. Get my safety glasses on before I get something in my eye. So I have found that they also work well at gripping into wood. And they get a nice tight spring grip in there. And you can just basically work around your form. And that way you can achieve that nice curve. And you got a little bit of wiggle room, you know, you're not committed with screws or rivets just yet. You can just kind of work a shape. I don't know, maybe you're trying to design something or patch a panel on your car or, you know, in our case, we use them for airstreams, for holding our wall panels temporarily. Uh, I'm gonna do one over here just to show you guys, you know, how they're actually working in behind there, but finish the last two. Let's see how nice that is. And I'll show you over here. Just kind of another example. Let's, let's see if we want some marks there. And so I can uh, I can change you know how this curve works by where I put my holes but for today's purposes, we'll just do some holes there. Anybody wondering, this is called a fan tool. It's a nifty little tool for just doing really quick equidistant marks, making your equidistant easy, or easier rather. pre-drills. I always like to have the outside sheet pre-drilled. Makes life easier. I'll do a little quick example of the Clico clamps or side grips. And, you know, it might be something like that. You can just go like that. Clico, and they've just got uh, this like center mandrel or center pin, if you will, in it. So when you actuate the back button with the pliers, what it's doing is pushing those two outers around the center pin, and then they're gonna collapse behind it. So when you release, they expand the way a rivet bed. So that's what's creating that connection there. Just the coolest thing for making stuff temporarily until you're sure you like where it goes. So I'm gonna move this clamp over here. And if I want a little more curve, I'll push it up a little bit. So great for 
having a third hand. Like I said, super useful in body panel work, really anything with sheet goods. So, you know, and then you may uh, say like, this is it, this is what I'm going for. I have no idea what this is. I'm just putting scrap together, but and you come back in with your rivet tool, slide your rivet in through the hole. There you go, you know. Now you've got a permanent connection that you're happy with. You decided on it before you made that. <clears throat> so that's how that works. Temporary rivet, permanent rivet. You can even do cool stuff, I guess, you know, if you're doing uh, wood sculpting even. Just another quick example here. You know, just as an example that it doesn't just have to be your, uh, your metal goods. These things are kind of awesome for all kinds of fabrication. I use them quite a bit. For some reason, I really need, you know, this corkscrew shape in something, you know, whether it's guiding wires in a chase or whatever it is. I can make that happen before really deciding on it. And, uh, Then you're not caught drilling a bunch of rivets out that you didn't like. You can, uh, whoop. there we go. <laughs> Come on. That one's might be not being happy. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen one shoot out of a hole like that. What's going on here? <laughs> oh man wow that one's holding you see how it works anyway <laughs> maybe that hole blew out with my drill either way you get the point you can make cool shapes you can hold those shapes temporarily until you're ready to use screws or rivets or whatever you want but we use them a lot for holding up panels and sealing stuff uh, just temporarily until we like it and then you send it